Okay, welcome to this short tutorial on how to add links to um, the basic carousel brick. So that's what you can see right here. It's a stock standard carousel brick just as you drop it into your project. We've got some navigation links here to go backwards and forwards and some links along the bottom here also to go through between the slides. The big issue though is you can't actually set a link to one of the slides or each one of the slides. Um, but actually you can, and it's not too difficult to do this. So with this web page here, just as an example, we have a basic site here. We have three pages for iPhone, Apple Watch, and iPad Air. And on the landing page, there is this carousel. And now this is actually the standard carousel brick you'll find in blocks with a little bit of styling. But I haven't added anything else apart from styling um, the navigation and adding the images. So we've got iPhone, Apple Watch, and iPad Air. Now each one of these will link to its respective page. Apple Watch, iPad Air. Okay, so what we're going to do is learn how to add a link to each one of these slides. I've got here my project in blocks and this here is the carousel that I've dropped in. What I'm going to do because this one has all the links set to it is I'm actually going to delete it. And I had this other one below it which was hidden. Now I'm going to unhide that. And just to show you if I preview this page that none of these are actually links. They don't link to the pages but the pages do work. Right, Ooh, my mouse is doing something weird. Sorry about that. Okay, so what we're going to do by selecting the carousel and on the left hand panel, we can expand it and then we'll see uh, um, a folder called inner container. We want to expand that one. And then because I've got three slides in my carousel, I'm going to see three items here called carousel item. Now each one of these represents a slide. And what we're going to do is on each one of these, we're going to add a custom attribute. And that's accessible on the right hand panel. Uh, yours might be collapsed like that, but you can expand it using the little arrow to the side. And the custom attribute that we're going to add here is called on click. On click. And then we're going to add location.href. And then we're going to put a link. Now this is called a relative link. We, we've just It's relative to our site. So if you're linking just to pages uh, within your project, you can do a relative link like this, which is just forward slash and then the name of your page. Just th something to remember, if you're exporting uh, with clean URLs, is all you're going to need is, in this case, forward slash iPhone. But because I'm not, it's forward slash iPhone.html. Okay, so on click location.href. In this section here, needs to be between single uh, single quotation marks. Okay, so with our first slide uh, selected, remember each one of these represents a slide carousel item, and unfortunately it won't show you the slide in the canvas. But our first one is gonna be an iPhone, we know that, so I'll come over here, custom attributes, click on the plus icon, and the name is gonna be called on click, and the value is gonna be location, dot href equals and now we're going to put the link between single quotation marks so forward slash iphone dot html and i'm going to save that and i'm going to select my next carousel item and this was the apple watch so on click location dot href equals And I think that page was called Apple Watch HTML. Our next slide was the iPad. I think this was um, location.href. I think we called this um, iPad Air. And save that. Right, so now we've got each of our slides with an on-click reference. If I preview this page. We can now click on the slide and it will go to the relative page. Apple Watch. 
and then iPad. One other thing we want to add here, um, when, you when you move your cursor over links or uh, interactive elements on a web page, quite often the cursor will change to a pointer as you can see here, and even for the navigation icons on the carousel. But when we hover over our slides, our pointer doesn't change. So what we want to do is have our pointer change when we hover over our um, slide so a user knows that they can select it. And we can do that with one line of CSS actually. So I'm going to come back to the canvas and I want to, if you've got lots of um, car carousels over your website, you can put this code in your project header. In this case, I'm just going to do my page header. And we can do that by coming up to this toggle up uh, here for the pages. And I'm going to click on this little icon next to the drop down icon. And that takes us to our page settings. And then I'm going to click on add code. And I'm going to add two style tags, an opening one and a closing one. And I'm going to put my CSS in the middle. And I know uh, from experience that the class that we want is called carousel item. So that's um, full stop, decimal, dot, whatever you want to call it, carousel, carousel, hyphen, item. And then we want this to be on hover, so um, colon, hover, and then we want our curly brackets. Our style is called cursor, cursor, and we want it to become a pointer. And that's all we need to add into our page header. Let's check this out, make sure we've got that right. Preview our page. And as we come over our slide, we now get a pointer. And if I click this, we should again go to our iPhone page. Okay. Let's have a refresh of our page in our browser, make sure it's all working properly. We've got our pointer. We've got our links to our different pages all working properly. Brilliant. So that's how you add links to the basic standard carousel brick and also how you change the pointer to uh, um, the cursor to a pointer. Okay, enjoy. If you have any questions, please let me know uh, on the forum and um, I'll help you where I can. Thank you.